Hi, I'm Brian London, and I'm conducting another Metals Investor Forum backstage interview. And our guest now is Genesis Metals CEO, David Terry. Uh, Genesis Metals is another one of the Discovery Group family of companies, I guess you would call it. And it, it's that group has a remarkable track record. I don't think they have a failure among them, which is an extraordinary accomplishment in this high risk sector of junior mining. And the focus for that group now, um, or they are focusing now on Genesis Metals, which has a, an historic project that has turned up in the past some very nice high grade intercepts, uh, has been known for a low grade resource, but they're going back and analyzing these high grade intercepts. And as we know, the market loves high grade now. Uh, really put together an extraordinary brain trust of geological talent to come back and re-examine, uh, remodel, and, uh, and, and expand their targets, which they're doing right now in turning up some more of those high-grade intercepts. So, David, I'd, I'd like you to go ahead and, and I'd like to hand it off to you right now and kind of give us an update on it. And I'll have a few questions I'd like to ask uh, as you bring our audience up to speed. Okay, well, thanks for that great introduction, Brian. And uh, yeah, you really sort of set, set the stage well. Uh, my, uh, my involvement with, uh, with Genesis uh, is really since uh, late last year, I got involved um, the, you know, with the pre-existing people and the team that have been working on this. But uh, our, our focus has really been to take this project, which has had a lot of work done over the, over the yeah. years by, by a number of different companies. I think there's there's more than 100,000 meters of, of drilling that's taken place uh, in over 400 drill holes or close to 450 drill holes now. Um, and, and a lot of that was focused in uh, where our main zone deposit is, which is a, uh, a resource uh, with an average grade just you know, approaching one and a half grams. Um, but when we took a step back and looked at all the original data uh, from that and, uh, and looked at it in three dimensions, it's quite apparent that there's a number of higher grade areas within that, uh, that, that overall deposit, which averages out at one and a half grams, that, uh, that have much higher grades and, and some fairly significant widths um, as well. And when you look at the, uh, the, the density of drilling that's, uh, that's been used or you know, that's been applied in the past to define those areas, it really falls short of what you need to do in order mm. to define uh, these high grade domains within a deposit. And, you know, if you, if you look at some of the, uh, the well-known high grade deposits that are in the Archean rocks in, in Canada, you know, often to define these high grade shoots, you're, you're sort of down to 15 to maybe even like seven meter drill hole uh, intercepts to really define the high grade cores of these things. And, you know, examples of that would be like the Red Lake mine in, uh, in the Northwestern Ontario. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so many of these higher grade areas have, have really no drill holes around them for 25 or sometimes 50 meters. And, uh, and so that's, that's the, uh, one of the sort of two pronged approach we've been taking to this property is, mm -hmm. is we've built up a three dimensional model uh, of, the, uh, of the areas that have, that have had uh, significant drilling in the past. Uh, most of that drilling has been focused in the upper 150 meters. Uh, you know, obviously trying to define open pitable uh, style mineralization. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we've built up a, a three-dimensional model and, and, and really target our drill holes to, uh, to focus on the higher grade areas within the deposit. Um, and we were quite successful, as I uh, said in the presentation yesterday, uh, the, the 2,500 meter phase one program that we've uh, completed and put results out for. Uh, consisted of nine holes. Six of those holes uh, hit high-grade mineralization uh, from depths uh, ranging from uh, about 60, 70 meters below surface uh, down to well below 200 meters below surface and below the uh, the pit shell from the 2019 resource estimate. So there's a number of other areas in the deposit that we're going to do the same exercise on and to really fill those out will be uh, you know a, a fair amount of drilling but at least we've got some good guidelines to go to, to go with. And yeah, then, and, and just to, to add a, a, a point on that, I was amazed or really impressed going over in the presentation when you look at the, the drill hole density where you hit that high grade and the number of really quite extensive gaps that are sitting there. And you can't say you know that there's high grade there. 
but there's a pretty good shot that there's a considerable amount of high grade can be added in just on this already proven, well-established target within the bounds of that target of that resource where infill drilling, as it were, can add a lot of resource and, and really high quality ounces as well. Yeah, I must say that when we put together the, the long sections, I, I, I was surprised as well that uh, even close to surface, there's some areas that are just not drilled, uh, you know, to, to define the boundaries of, of where, where this high grade mm -hmm. uh, domain is. So, yeah. yeah, and you're about to get to, I think, uh, uh, other targets outside of the current resource or more distal far-flung uh, potential for a resource expansion or new new discoveries. Yeah, exactly. And that's sort of the other uh, uh, um, uh, the other aspect of the property that we're, we're focused on. And uh, we, we carried out this regional till survey last year and compiled all the information that we could on uh, on the property uh, outside of the of the known deposits. And uh, it's a very large property, more than 290 square kilometers. So uh, there's lots of uh, lots of terrain to explore. Um, uh, and anyway, this till uh, uh, targeting uh, work that we did generated six high priority targets. And uh, and so we've been working on uh, on grooming those up to the drill stage uh, with our surface work program this this summer. Uh, tighter grids for for, for sil till sampling and soil sampling and getting out on the ground and. And, and ground checking these areas. And we've carried out uh, a lot of rock sampling and, uh, and actual channel sampling of outcrops in one particular area where there's some high grade uh, prospecting samples uh, from a previous program that had never been followed up on. So we're pretty excited about all these different uh, areas that uh, we're advancing towards uh, you know, either trenching or drilling uh, uh, later this year. Yeah, I, I again, I was looking at the, the presentation and it was impressed that the the three target areas, which you cleverly named targets one, two, and three. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a lot of originality there. Yeah, not, not, but you know, the, the geological expertise is what we're looking for more so than creativity. But if you took those two, those three targets, uh, and their combined strike length is considerably more than than what you have right now in your entire resource. So, you know. It, it, you still have to drill it. You, you still have to see what's there, but the similarities with what, with what you already have and the size potential, um, really impressive and exciting. Yeah, and target one and two is in an area that, that there's just not a lot of outcrop at all. Um, mm -hmm. so that's that's intriguing, right? A long strike from the uh, from the east zone where where there is some you know quite you know good mineralization exposed in some trenches at surface, and obviously it has a as a small resource on it from the uh, the previous drilling, so that area is very interesting. And then target number three is right along the Fan Camp trend, uh, the major structure that's uh, controlling the gold mineralization in this area uh, between the main zone and the east zone. So it's you know a very good address to find uh, find a new deposit in, and uh, we already know that uh, there's high grade gold uh, in outcrop associated with it. So we've got a good start. We just need to need to do the systematic work to to progress to the drill stage. Well, uh, congratulations on what you've done so far, uh, churning out some good, really remarkable high-grade drill results, uh, great targets ahead. It's an exciting time. You have the discovery group uh, experts very excited about the potential, and, and I think all investors, all speculators in this junior mining share market really need to take another, a good hard look at Genesis Metals as you just now you have the resources, the funding to do all of that work that's necessary to develop these targets. Uh, so fun days ahead. And, and David, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks again, Brian. And we'll, we'll talk again soon.